right, chat. We got some Moria gameplay here for ranked. We're playing up against Rage You. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to go ahead. Rage You, I think their even curve's really good. Honestly, I'm going to try going first. I haven't gone first a lot. I'm going to... It's tempting to keep because of this, but I can't do anything. So I'm going to mulligan. This is a little bit better. But rage you essentially when one of your dawn cards on the field is returned, you draw one card. So when they play a card, all their cards are one for ones. Is the essence of the deck. I could play this and draw one. I think that's one of the biggest challenges that I'm having just overall right now is knowing when to use Great Eruption just to draw. So you used to add one. Okay. They added Rage U, Rage U's 2. Oh, they played another one and got the kingdom. Got it. So they opened pretty busted. I'm going to start off six swing here. No action. And I'm going to play brand new. But yeah, not super sure. Oh, we're getting another great eruption. So now we have two. Might want to discard one. If we can get an Absalom, we have Absalom. So we can go minus, play Absalom, play something, which is pretty good. Uh, discard, like top three. Yeah, so they just never miss. And they get to load up their trash with the bigs. And then, yeah, they got Rage U, so they can Dawn minus one. Play the Rage U, draw one, so they don't go minus on resources. I pulled an all Rage U, which was pretty cool. But yeah, so we can play this and KO the Rage U. And probably just go seven. Let lead. Yeah, so now they're, they're up cards, so they get the, yeah, because they get to play this, they get the draw. Yeah. Huge, you see that? They are all of a sudden have more hand advantage than me out of nowhere. I'm gonna take this. They play a new one. They're gonna use it. That felt very I guess I guess it's not a minus. This card is something to deal with. Uh seven is that awkward spot too, because I don't have what's his name? But we're gonna go ahead. So now we have an ice age, which is nice. We're gonna go seven. I have to shuffle back both of the cards I have here, so I'm going to want to start countering. Well, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna get the mill, so I'm gonna get to mill. I think I'm gonna trash Luchi. Just cause he's no counter. And then I got a couple more cards in my trash, which is nice. We're gonna go Absalom, use his action. We're gonna put back a Luchi. And this, and I'm gonna go ahead and KO Rage you. They're gonna counter. Okay, so they're going to five Dawn, which is also something to keep in mind is with their minus. And I think all the other guys are four, so we might be we might be making some moves. Yeah, this is my actual first game against Rage U. Uh, I know Roberto's been screaming Rage U from the rooftops. I think it's a good deck. I think Queen's busted. Oh! That's busted. God dang it, Bobby. What the heck? Yeah, I just lost a ton of value, so that's great. That's why you play this card. That is why you play this card. 
that really hurt. <laughs> I can't even like fake it. That really truly hurt. Uh, five. What did they do with the one? They played another Germa. They drew Sora, so they have a 2k. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. So I'm going up to seven so I can play Lino swing six into their 2k. I don't think any of their guys destroy, so I'm probably gonna trash the Maybe I play the Kuzan. No, Kuzan's susceptible to both of these, right? I think the Blue Ranger. Uh, what can I do? I can bring back Hodgeback, and he brings me back like nothing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go six, use action. I'm gonna trash the Kuzan, bring back the card. Uh, I can't, I have no targets. Then I'm a smack five. Honestly, felt like I should be starving them at this point, but just cause they were so low and then I could just build up board and win. Because almost every card in this deck is counter except for Ichiji. Yanji. Ichiji. Okay. They could just hard cast them. They're at seven. I'm going to nine. Play a Sobert. Five. Interesting. I got my Absalom. Maybe I just, I'm gonna just give him, I'll just give him a 1K. No block. Oop. If I took the free block and they played out the Red Ranger, I would be, they would just clear my Lino, which I don't want. But this way I also can't get pudding again, cause we just don't want that. Now they're gonna draw three. Because they minus one, draw one. Oh, they're going to do uh, big play. Yeah. Boom. Look at that. This card is busted. Instant hand refresh. Instantly outvalued. And now they have this guy. Oh, they don't have less. Oh, now they do. So you should have rush. Yeah. Yeah, see? Mm. Five. Honestly, I'm probably just going to take this. And I'm going to take the 7 to the face. Yeah, I'm just going to take this. Oh, I got a Moria. That's big. No. Oh, Ice Age. What is this? Uh, See what sucks is? I don't even have anything great to bring back. So that's cool. Like, I don't... I, I guess... If I play him and I play over the Absalom, I can, I can, I should be able to bring him back. Uh, I just have to play him rested? Question mark. Can I bring back a Luchi? Oh, I can bring back a Luchi. Actually, I can use this and Meppo. Meppo minus is three and uh, Luchi both of these. So that works. We're gonna go five. I'm gonna load him back into my trash. No, that's so wrong. Oh. They wrong for not countering. That's okay though. I mean, they just, I'm just taking away the cards that they're just now gaining, so. And they're still very strong on these. Yeah, easy, sure. And they get to keep one card, so. Huge W on their end. Uh, now I need to make sure I activate this first. And I'm going to play Moria. We're going to bring back Luchi is active. Trashing. 
Absalom, and then we're gonna play him. Rested, now we're gonna use Helmeppo, minus, then we're gonna use Luchi, put back event, put back here, and the Sabo, then we go two and one, we'll pass. See, these are free trashes for searches. Because it's no counter. You just, just, you just load them up. You don't even need to hard cast them. So he's got a Yanji, so now he's got a blocker. Got a lot of pressure on board. And I can drop two blockers if need be. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. They would have one less card, which kind of bugs me. Because, again, like, every card in their deck is counter. I'm going to build this. I'm going to dabble with Raju just because Roberto super believes in it. But, yeah, I could possibly, even if I need to, play two more whole blockers and go, like, five, five, seven, nine, play two blockers. They don't have the blue guy at all, so that's interesting. I know he has a Yanji. I probably could have hand-tracked him a little bit better. That's one of the important things. Yeah, so he's going to bring back another rusher. That's fine. And you can play, like, a two and play Yanji. You do rage you. Yeah, so he gets his leader effect. So he doesn't minus cards. You go seven. Seven here. Yeah, I let that go. Because I'm going to play two more cards this turn. No blocker is bold. I should just go for... I should attempt lethal. I go five, seven, nine at least hurt them a bit seven do i just take this i think i should just take this yeah i'm gonna just take it draw draw just because they can't answer everything we go five here you pretty much force the counter it otherwise i can go like huge yeah i'm gonna go seven and then I'm gonna get the cycle just a little bit. I'm pretty much at the count, because if you take this, then I go nine, and then I go gigantic. So I might actually just smack nine here. Does it matter? I cost them four dawn, they're at five. They go to seven, they just gave me the Yanji. Do I just put them in lethal? Or do I just clear or attempt to clear him? If I attempt to clear him, then they only have three. Can they play another Raiju? you? What are the odds? If they play another Raiju, you, they just reload their hand. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put them in lethal range for me. Cause I still gonna have counter. I'm gonna play a Lino and a Sabo. And I'm gonna trash and trash. Yeah, so I've got two, four, six, seven, eight, and three blockers. And they're at six dawn. Six cards. Eight dawn. So like they can play double Yanji, but I can double D up once again. Okay, Raiju would have been kind of good. I don't know if I would have trashed that because if you can play out Raiju for two, 
you get to draw three. So it's really, this is pot of greed. I need to pick up some rages at my locals. Okay, they get Niji. This card's pretty good. I don't think it's good at this point, though. Because, like, you can bounce one. But, I don't know. It just doesn't get you through. And they're cooked without a blocker. But I know he has 1k in counter now. Seven. It's block in 2k. By block in 2k. I guess he could potentially spam out two more in swing. So two, four. If I block in 2k, potentially nine. 2k, I've got one, two. Yeah, I've got enough if I do this. Uh, he bounces. What does he bounce? A four cost. So I'm going to block with the Borsalino. And then a 2k. I haven't used Mori's effect at all this game, but I didn't have the trash to do it. Oh, Judge. Oh. Those would have been really good cards for the next turn. I guess you're going to reload your hand, so that's pretty good. Because they're going to go draw three and play a... Oh, and bring out the blocker. Yeah, it's really strong. Rage you, draw one card. And then play out Rage you. Okay. Okay, Yanji, okay. Now we're going to bring out Rage you, uh huh. Draw three. Now they're at six. So you just cycled a ton of cards. Now they got a rusher. So I think I just go for lethal. Because you can swing seven. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, I just have a ton of power on board. Five. You just want me to take the free block? I'll take a free block. And you go seven. Well, I guess it technically cost me two cards then. Um, but this one, this way it cost me. It still cost me a 2k and a 1k. Uh, I'll trash Sobert. Sure. You can have Sobert. They're probably going to slam this at one of my bodies. But I should just, I think I just, two... So that's seven, seven, seven. So you can take three sevens, potentially. One, two, three, block. Yeah, I think I just mathematically win here. Uh, do this, and 2K. Judge can't attack, right? Draw, okay. So we got one blocker. Seven, 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 seven. Then these two should go through. That's two, three, four, five, six done. And then, yeah, the nine, nine should get it. So let's go ahead, go seven. Okay, let's go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I think at this point I just have to go on, but I'm just. Maybe I'm supposed to go with the body first, but I'm not actually sure. Okay. Now I'm gonna throw him. Then I have three more swings. Either block or they take it. Seven. Seven. They get the two or the blocker. They get the blocker. Then we go seven. Give us both cards. Yeah. Cool. There we have it. There we have it. Yeah. 
Not seeing this guy, they didn't see like any of him was kind of unfortunate, but they did see a ton of Reiju, and Reiju is like the best card in the deck. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. If you found the content of value, hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for future Moria videos.